today we are going to be learning how to play the D major scale, which is the third scale in the order of the circle of fifths. Now D major has two sharps, which are F sharp and C sharp. So instead of playing those notes naturally, we're going to raise it up a half a step and play those sharps instead. Be sure to check back next week with Cassidy where she's going to be showing you how to play the relative minor scale, which is B minor. Um, that has the same key signature, so be on the lookout for that next week. And let's just get started right now with D major. So D major is going to start off with the note D, of course. So we're just going to place our two front fingers here and then our back thumb hole there. And this is D. Next, we're going to play E, which we're just going to lift this bottom finger and keep the two where they are. This is E. Next, we are actually going to be playing F sharp, not F natural. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this back finger there and keep our pointer finger on that first key. This is F sharp. And then we're going to keep ascending the scale and just lift that so we're not having any fingers down. This is G. So once we play G, we're going to play A, which is going to be this key right here. We're just going to hold this key down and this is going to be our A. So let's start from the beginning and just keep lifting our fingers. Remember we're playing F sharp and then stop at A. This is kind of where we reach the middle of the scale because we've already played the first five notes. So we're going with D, which is the first two and back, and then we're going to lift that bottom one. And then this is E, and then we're going to lift this back one, F sharp, lift that, G, and then place our finger here, which is A. So we're already halfway there. And then from A, we're going to be jumping the bridge. And how I like to play it is I like to just have all fingers down and then place my pinky on this key right here. Like so. Because to me, that just makes switching pinkies from B to C sharp a lot easier. But another way you can do it is you can play B right here instead. Having your pinky right here. So when we're jumping the bridge, we're going to actually have all of our fingers down. All six fingers like so. And then we're going to have our back thumb hole and we're going to have the register key pressed down, which is this key right there, and this is going to allow us to play those higher notes. And then, like I said, I like my pinky to be here on this key. So we're going to have all of these down plus your pinky either on this key, like I'm going to show you, or this key. This is B. Next, we're going to be playing C sharp, and we're just going to be switching our pinkies. So I'm going to switch from B here to C sharp using this key right here. But if you're playing B using this key right here, you can actually switch to this key right there when you're switching pinkies. And then this is going to be C sharp if you're doing that alternate fingering. So again, like I said, I like going from B here to C sharp here. So all we're doing is switching pinkies. The rest of the fingers are going to be down plus back and register key. So we're going to be playing this key right there, which is C sharp. And then once we switch pinkies, all we do is lift 
that pinky. And then this is going to be octave D. Just these three, these three, back and register. Here is D. So let's just go back down to A, and we're going to ascend to A, B. My pinky is right here. C, switch pinkies. Everything else is down plus back register. And then lift that, and then this is D. So starting from A, B, C sharp, D. So now let's put the first octave together and just start from the bottom D. And then we're going to ascend D, E, F sharp, G, A, is this key right here? B, we're jumping the bridge, everything goes down, plus back and register, and pinky right here, or right here, if you'd like. And then either C sharp here, which is what I'm going to do, or you can play C sharp here. Everything else is down. And then lift that, this is octave D. So let's play the first octave. is complete. All right, now let's move on to the second octave and then later we can put both the first and the second together to complete the entire scale. So for the second octave, our first note is going to be the last note that we left off in the first octave scale, which was our octave D. So three down, three down, back and register, and this is our D, which will be our first note in this case. So in the scale, we're going to be lifting our fingers one at a time until we hit C sharp. Otherwise, the second octave is really simple. So all we're doing now is we're leaving all of our fingers down except for this last one. We're just lifting that and this will be our E. So once we play E, we're going to lift this top one and then leave our middle finger down here and then this is going to be F sharp and then again these three and back and register are going to be down as well. This is F sharp. And then we're going to lift that so that it's only these three back register. This is G. And then again, once more, we're going to lift, and then this is A, just these two back register. So now let's go back down to D and play those first five notes where we're just lifting one finger at a time. Um, remember, it's D, lift that, this is E, lift the top one, the middle finger stays down, this is F sharp. And then we lift that, this is G. And then we lift the bottom one and these two in the back and register, of course. This is A. So these are the first five notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A. Again, here is A. We're going to lift this, and this is going to be B. And then once we play B, next comes C sharp. So this is kind of tricky, but basically we're going to have to adjust our fingers. The back and register keys are going to remain the same, but it's just going to be your middle finger on the second key and your ring finger on the third key. Your pointer finger is not going to be on that first key. And then it's going to be your pointer finger on your right hand on the first bottom key and your second on that second bottom key here as well. So it, you're going to have four fingers down in the front. So two, three, on the top part and then one two on the bottom part of the clarinet. 
This is actually going to be C sharp. So that's C sharp. And then all we're doing with D, our octave D, is going to be just lift that bottom finger. So only these two stay down, plus back register. And then the first key of the bottom half of the clarinet is just down. Just this one. This is going to be D. So now let's go back to A. Remember, it's just these two. Back register will always be down. And we're going to play A, B, lift. And then adjust your fingers. C sharp is going to be 2, 3, 1, 2. Like so. And then D, which is our last note, is just going to be us lifting that middle finger up. So there's two, three, one. So A, B, C sharp, D. I'm actually going to stand up so you guys can see. So that is the last note in the second octave. You want to have a lot of good air support as well as the correct embouchure when playing those higher notes as well as maybe a thicker reed. That'll definitely help your higher notes um, not sound squeaky if you're playing kind of a thicker reed. So let's go back down to D and then re remember we're going to lift E, lift that first finger F sharp, lift G, lift a, lift, B, jump, <laughs> adjust your fingers, C sharp, and then lift, D. So we're going to play the second octave all together, and here we go. I'm again going to stand so that you guys can see. <laughs> the second octave and let's put it all together if you need to review the first octave rewind this video and do so to kind of refresh your fingers and your mind on those first notes other than that I'm gonna play it really slowly and we're gonna be playing both the first and second octaves in the same scale here we go <laughs> all of those high notes. I know I really enjoy that higher range. Don't forget to check back in with Cassidy's video next week where she will be teaching you B minor, which is the same key as this D major scale. But please go and check that out next week with Cassidy. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And with that said, I will be here next month where I'm going to be showing you how to play the A major scale. So check back in next month for that. And then Cassidy will teach you how to play the relative minor scale for A major. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.